Example for the one, um, we have y is equal to um, x squared tan x, and we're to differentiate this. All right, so this is a product. This is x squared multiplied by tan x. It's a product, and product rule says that um, if y is equal to uv, dy by dx would be equal to um, what? Leave the first, differentiate the second, dv by dx, plus um, differentiate the first, leave the second. So this is v du by dx. So that's product rule. So dy by dx would be um, leave the first, x squared, Differentiate the second, and differentiate tan, you're going to get sex squared x. Plus, differentiate the first, you're going to have what? 2x, leave the second, which is tan x. So, our answer is going to be x squared sec squared x plus 2x tan x. X. All right, example for the two. Find the gradient um, of the curve y is equal to x plus 2 over cosine um, x minus pi by 4 at x is equal to pi by 4. All right, so this is quotient. You're dividing one thing by another. All right, dividing one function by another function. All right, um, Again, so quotient rule would have said that if um, if y generates to appear somewhere is equal to u over v, um, dy by dx would be equal to v du by dx minus um, u dv by dx all over v squared. So that would be cosine rule. So let's apply it. So here, my u is equal to um, x plus 2, and my v is the cosine of x minus pi by 4. So dy by dx would be equal to um, v, which is what? Cosine x minus pi by 4. Um, du by dx, u is x plus 2, when you differentiate that, you're just going to simply get 1. Okay, if you differentiate x, you get 1, and if you differentiate 2, you get 0, so it's just 1. Minus um, u, which is x plus 2, times the differential of what? v, when you differentiate cos, you get minus sine, so this is minus sine x minus pi by 4 times the differential of the inside function which is 1 and this is all over v square which is cosine square and we have um, x minus pi by 4 all right so what we have here is um, Mm. All right. This is um, V. Fine. Minus. Oh, okay. Fine. Got about my bearing. All right. Um, so what we have here is cosine X minus pi by 4. Um, plus, because a negative here times a negative here is a positive, and we have x plus 2 multiplied by the sine of um, x minus pi by 4, and this is all over cosine squared x minus pi by 4. All right, so... Um, when x is equal to pi by 4, 
we're going to get um, dy by dx would be equal to cosine of pi by 4 minus pi by 4 plus pi by 4 plus 2 the sine of pi by 4 minus pi by 4 so wherever I see x I'm going to take out x and put pi by 4 and down here we have the word cos square and we have pi by 4 minus pi by 4 alright um, pi by 4 minus pi by 4 is 0 and the cosine of 0 is 1 so here we have 1 plus we have um, pi by 4 plus 2 um, multiplied by the sine of 0 which is 0 and this is all over um, this is all over what um, the cosine of 0 square so this is 1 square so my answer here is 1 plus 0 over 1 so the answer here is dy by dx is simply equal to 1 all right um equation of a curve example 43 example 43 says um the equation of a curve is given by y is equal to um 4x sine 2x find the gradient of the curve at um x is equal to a all right well the first thing is that um the first thing is that um um the graded function dy by dx is the gradient function or the first derivative is the gradient function um and essentially um the first derivative can be used to find the gradient for any value of x or at any value of x so y the curve is y is equal to 4x um sine 2x which is a product and um to the right we have the product rule which says that if y is equal to vu uv dy by dx would be leave the first differentiate the second plus differentiate the first leave the second so um we have um, dy by dx would be equal to leave the first 4x differentiate the second differentiate sine to get cos so it's cosine 2x and we have to multiply by the differential of the inside function the inside function is 2x and so differentiate 2x to get 2 so that's leave the first differentiate the second plus no differentiate the first when you differentiate 4x you get 4 leave the second which is sine um, 2x all right so the gradient dy by dx is equal to 8x cos 2x plus plus 4 sine 2x so now when x is equal to a the gradient which is dy by dx dy by dx which is the gradient would be equal to 8a so wherever I see x I'm going to take out x and put a the cosine of 2a plus 4 the sine of 2a all right um example 44 example 44 says that if f of x is equal to cosine x tan 2x now this is a product um, where to find um, f1 of x which is the first derivative and evaluate f1 of pi by um, 2 in other words um, find the gradient um, find the gradient the value of the gradient when x is equal to pi by 2 so as we said before when you differentiate a product 
f1 of x, which is the first derivative is, um, we leave the first, this is product rule, so we leave what? Cosine x, differentiate the second, when we differentiate tan, we're going to get sec squared x, and we have to multiply, alright, so this is not this is not x, it's sec squared 2x, and we have to multiply by the differential of the inside function. The inside function is 2x, so we multiply by 2. So that is leave the first, differentiate the second, um, plus differentiate first. When you differentiate cos, you're going to get what? Minus sine x, leave the second, which is tan 2x. All right? So just writing it a little proper. This is equal to cosine x sec squared x. All right, put the two at the front. So this is equal to two um, cosine x sec squared two x minus sine x tan um, 2x. Now, f1 of pi by 4 is saying wherever I see um, x, I must take out x and put pi by 4. So it's not pi by 4, it's actually pi by 2. So let's remove a few things. So this is pi by 2. This would be equal to 2, the cosine of pi by 2, which is 90 degrees, um, sec square 2 times pi by 2, minus the sine of pi by 2, the tangent of 2 times pi by 2. All right, so um, if I differentiate, um, if I, sorry, the cosine of 90, I believe is equal to zero. So this, this part becomes zero. And the tangent of 180, if I'm not mistaken, is equal to zero. So this is actually zero times zero. So the answer here is equal to zero. Um, the cosine of um, 90 is 0. When you multiply anything by 0, you're going to get 0. Um, the tangent of 180, because 2 times pi by 2 is 180, is 0. So, um, and even though the sine of 90 is 1, when you multiply 0 by 1, you're going to still end up with 0. So, when x is equal to pi by 2, um, the gradient is equal to 0. All right. Um, Example 45. Example 45 says differentiate y is equal to sine. This looks like sine 3x. All right. Um, how are we going to treat this? Mm. Um, I could say that y y is equal to um, sine O. Oh. Alright, this is a power derivative. So dy by dx, the power comes to the front, so we have what? Um, 3 um, sine squared x. So the power de um, decreases by 1. Now we have to multiply. All right, let's start over because I want it to be abundantly clear to everybody exactly what we're doing. This is the same as saying y is equal to sine x raised to the third power. All right, so here we're going to apply um, the chain rule. Um, therefore, dy by dx, it's both power. Chain rule, we're going to differentiate the outside function. So the 3 comes to the front. We have what? 3 sine x the power decreases by 1 
2 and we have to multiply by the differential of the inside function and differentiate sine you're going to get um, cosine x so this is dy by dx is going to be equal to 3 um, sine squared x cosine x all right example 46 um, y is equal to tan 4x so this, is, so this is similar dy by dx would be equal to the power comes to the front 4 tan and the power decreases by 1 3x multiply them by the differential of the inside function the inside function is tan x so when you differentiate tan x you're going to get to sec squared x so dy by dx would be equal to um, 4 tan cube x sec squared x